Guys, Barnaby from Spurred on outside the Etihad. We've just turned them over 2-1 at the Etihad. The final whistle has just gone. gone. The fans are still in there. I can hear them chanting. I'm gutted that I'm not there. How fucking good was that? An unbelievable performance. What I'll do is I'll give you a bit of my post-match review now, but I'll do it more in depth afterwards. But I have to say this could be an absolutely pivotal day in the title race. We can actually do this. We can actually do it. We were better than them a lot of the game. When we got the first goal, I felt we went a bit long after that. But then Lamella came on and played the most sumptuous pass through to Christian Eriksen to score the winner. And we held off in a game where it spurs in history, don't win games like this. When we can go second in the league again, two points behind top. Swansea at home next in the league. 12 games to go. Boys, anything could happen. Honestly, this is the real deal. The players, are, they've got all the spirit. They've got all the fight. They've got everything. Just an unbelievable performance. It's back to front. Hugo Lloris made a worldie at the end to keep us winning it. Uh, the fullbacks did well. The amount of times they saved us chasing back when the, the counter-attacks were on. Kevin Vimmer, unbelievable. He's so calm. One touch, two touch every time. Wasn't just whacking it long when others were panicking. What a player he is as our third choice centre-back. Unbelievable. Eric Dyer, a colossus again. Moussa Dembele looked a bit leggy at times, but always getting his body in the way. What a terrific player he is. And then Deli Ali, man of the match. Three or four nutmegs made Yaya Toure look like a mug time and time again, Deli Ali today. Unbelievable performance from a kid. He's 19 years old. If he doesn't start in the Euros for England, there's no point living, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, let's grab some fans, do some interviews, and I'll do some more post match later on. Come on, you Spurs. Hi guys, uh, it's just going to be the second part of my match review from the Etihad where we won 2 1 against City. I did uh, the first part just after the full time whistle had gone. Honestly, I'm borderline emotional about this. Just a huge day to be a Spurs fan. The kind of games we expect almost to pluck defeat out from the jaws of victory. It felt a bit like that again. We'd gone 1-0 up and we would keep it for the first 60 minutes. We kept the ball so well. The defenders dropped off, passed it around, and then we went 1-0 up and there was a bit of panic. I'm not going to give any negativity because we you know, we won the game, it's fantastic. But that showed a little bit of a lack of experience and leadership, but that makes sense. Of course it does. You know, average age of 24, youngest team in the league. Most importantly, we've come here, we've beaten them. They were champions a couple of seasons ago. They've spent 250 odd million quid more than us in the last few years. They're a team full of stars on 200 grand a week and we've turned them over with a young, hungry team. An unbelievable time to be a Spurs fan and a Spurs player. Give props out again to players. Thought Harry Kane worked so hard. Did you see what Joe Hart was doing to him before that penalty? Talking to him all th down the box whilst it was waiting to happen. Harry Kane, composure, calmness personified, straight down the middle, pressure situation. You don't think it was going through his head that everyone's talking about Spurs being title challengers and he just puts it down the middle. And then Christian Eriksen for the winner, fantastic. Just an unbelievable performance. Just, uh, I, I don't know what else to say other, I'm so, I'm so pumped, I'm so proud to be a Spurs fan. The away fans are unbelievable as they always are, but thank God they came here again, just like in 2010 when Crouchy got us into the Champions League and they have a night to remember. A party time in Manchester tonight for anyone who's staying, party on the trains home. It's going to be an unbelievable week, cup coming up next Saturday, next Sunday. Before that, Fiorentina, I'm going to be in Florence. Check it out. Check out our fan cams. Let us know what you thought of the performance in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at TV. Come on, you Spurs. Come on.